We're going to do a bird, bluebird workshop for which they didn't bring any donuts. Okay, now, <clears throat> this is the house we're going to build today. This is what it looks like. But first, I want to show you two other houses that bluebirds also like. They also like this house here, which is a log cabin. And to clean it, you just take this and remove the bottom, and it comes apart for cleaning. Another house is this one here. And this has a little bit of different entrance hole. This is, has the same design hole as what they call the Peterson Bluebird House. Uh, and after a lot of trial and error, the uh, Peterson uh, couple that built the houses decided that this was good because it's an eighth of an inch narrower and three quarters of an inch higher. So it's easier for the bluebirds to get in and out, but uh, being as how it's narrower, a lot of the other birds can't get in. Now, there's, in this, this one here is the one we're going to build. Now, there's a piece of tape on here. This holds a nail in that you can just take out with your fingers and put it back in. And this is a door to open it up to check the blue houses and to do the cleaning in that. Now, Bluebirds like these three styles, and there are also some other birds that like them. Okay, now this is the bluebird house that we're going to build today. You can remove the nail, open it up, and you can check to see if there's any, anybody building houses in there yet or not. But now when you do check, if you're going to open it up and check, what you want to do is you'd, you don't walk up to the front of the house and open it up because if there's one in there, the, the bird's going to come out and fly right into your face. What you do is you walk up to this side here, you give it a little tap, not too loud, and then if there's any bird in there, it'll fly off. You open up the house and check it. If it's got eggs in it, you're, you're good. Now, if it's got little babies in it, then you don't want to uh, check it anymore because you don't want to disturb them. So in bluebirds, will sometimes build two nests uh, a year. So what you want to do is if you do get bluebirds, you watch for them to fledge, which means they leave the nest. Then you go out and you clean out the house because a, a bluebird will build a second nest. They won't nest in the, the nest they start with. They will always start with a new nest. So they'll build a nest on top of the nest that's already in there, which will get them closer to the entrance hole, which gets them closer to where any predators could get in and get at them. Now this narrow piece on the front here, that's a predator piece that makes it a little bit farther for the, any predators to have to get in there to get at them. And on the side here, you'll notice there's a little tab that hangs down a little bit below. I put that there. So when you remove the locking nail, you can just put your hand on the bottom, put it across, and the house opens right up. Okay, now we are going to start building the house. Oh, one thing I did forgot to mention. Uh, birds are t uh, territorial. So if another bird comes along and builds a, a nest in your house, well, you, your bluebird doesn't have a place to go. So we recommend that you put a second house up 15 feet away from where this house is. And then say if a swallow or uh, another one builds a house in this one, it's not going to allow a bird of the same species to build in the second one. Therefore, leaving the house open that the bluebirds can build in. Now we've got tape on, so we remove the tape. One thing I didn't, a couple of things I didn't mention. This is the bottom piece. You'll notice I have the corners cut off. This allows for drainage. Any water that should get in there, that it can come through. And if you look at the side of the house, you'll notice that this board here does not go to the top. That's a ventilation strip. So the heat won't build up in the house. The heat will has a chance to get out and be a little bit cooler house. I'll get all the parts here.
Okay, now, now you notice the piece that's got the bottom of your hand hold on. You'll notice there's a nail sticking out on each end. These are a hinge nail, which allows the house to open up. Now, when we build a house, which is your piece right here, we make sure that we don't drive any nails into the house that's going to go into this one. Because if you drive a nail in another spot and it goes into this piece, this is what's going to happen. It's not going to open up. But if it's built without those nails, it's going to open up for you. Now we're going to start with the front. You look at the front, you'll notice there's the letter A on the front. You let the, you, you take that and you lay it down so you can see that letter A. And I'll explain why that letter is there before or after. Now you're, this wood, the wood is so smooth that the little babies, they're going to try to get out. And they just going to, kind of like your tires slipping on the ice. So we're going to take the hammer. Okay, now this is going to be where the birds, when they try to get out, they can get their little claws in here and then they're going to be able to get out. Now we're going to, we're going to take that one board that's a little bit short. You'll notice all these, wherever you're going to need to put a nail, the, these boards are, the nail holes are pre-drilled. So you don't put a nail any place that already doesn't have a hole. Now you're going to take this and you line it up. Now to make it easier, you can take another piece, any piece, and just lay it in there and those boards will hold up by themselves. Now you got packages of nails and there's two screws in there. You're going to save the screws until the very end. They're there for so you can attach it to whatever post or whatever you're going to put it onto. You can take your nails and you can start them ahead of time. Just give a little bit of a start. There's three nails that goes into this piece. Now, I'm going to take this piece you know, with the letter A down so you can't see it. And you're going to make it flush on the bottom and flush on the side. You'll notice it doesn't come all the way to the top. Then you're going to drive this nail in. You line it up here, you're going to drive that one in. Now we're going to go to the bottom piece, which is your one that's got the corners cut off. You can put it in there, make it flush, push it over the side, drive it in. Now we've got two nails here, and now you'll notice this doesn't look too good. So just take any piece, slip it under there, and that's going to support that so you can put your nails in. There's two nails there. Now you'll notice on the other end of the board, there's two, nail, two holes there. Don't worry about that, doesn't mean a thing. I just put holes in both ends, so it doesn't matter which way you put it on. Now you're going to take your, your door. You'll notice there's a letter A on the door. There's a letter A on the piece. You put the, the two A's together. Now you're going to take your back. You got a letter B. In here you got a letter B. Now we're going to turn it around here. And you'll see on the bottom there's a pencil mark. You line that pencil mark up with the bottom of the house. And the reason why I have the mark there is we line it up is so then this whole, the door is going to work good. Then you're going to put one on the top here, being flush on the side. One in the middle. And you have one more here in the bottom piece. Now uh, you see, by not driving any nails in here, you'll notice the door works just fine. 
Now this is your top piece. We have two nail holes in there. I will start the nail there. And I will put the nails down. So now, and by doing it this way, that kind of holds it in place really nice for you. So now you get this lined up and you get this groove. So the distance here is the same as the distance here. And there's two nails hole on the bottom. Now to finish nailing, just bring it back and it holds up in place for you nice. And you drive these two. Now we got one piece left, which is the predator piece. And I have two nails left, so I'll start those nails in there. Okay, now turn it around. Now, what I like to do is I take my finger and I'll feel down in here so that it's nice and smooth, the holes line up good, and I'll drive those to it. Now, we have one thing left to do. We're going to drill a hole here for that good one. Now, I use a 1 8 inch drill bit, and I let it stick through a little bit short of what the length of the nail is. And I drill the hole into the door. Now, You'll notice by having that drill a little bit short of the nail, now I can take my fingers and I can take a hold of that nail and pull it out and check the house. The last thing I do is I take a piece of tape and I will put it over here to keep that nail in there because we kind of thought it'd be nice if you took the birdhouse home and when you got home the nail would still be in the house, it wouldn't be in the tire of your mom or dad's car. And at the, uh, after, the, the, towards the end of the year, like this or any other birdhouse, I like to leave the nesting material in there, is because some birds will nest in the house over winter. But then the first of the year, say about the first part of March, go out and clean out all your houses and make sure they're in good shape and you're ready for the birds when they come. And that's it. Your, your house is complete. You're ready to take home. Oh, the, the two screws, you'll notice there's a hole on the bottom and then there's another hole on the top. That's where the screws go to attach it to your post or, or whatever you're going to attach it to. So that completes your house. You're, you're ready for the birds. <laughs>